Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Trunell and this is the countdown to Sonic Mania here on the YTOS. Um, we're still playing Sonic the Hedgehog 4 episode 1 and this is our hub world. I wanted to show this off to you guys as well because one of the cool things about this game is that unlike other uh, 2D Sonic games where you just play all of the levels, you know, one by one in, uh, in order, you can actually go back to this hub world and replay any stage, including the bosses, and that also includes special stages, which is a, a freaking blessing. Because um, any stage that you uh, don't complete or that you fail on, you can just go back and retry it here. So that's pretty cool. The only thing is that you have to have uh, encountered the, um, the special stage in order to uh, replay it. But um, we're going to go ahead to the next zone, which is Casino Street Zone. And if it sounds familiar, that's because it is. It is pretty much a reimagining of a Casino Night Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And um, if you haven't seen that playthrough or that gameplay for that zone, uh, you can check that out here. I'll have like a card or whatever annotations. Or, I think I know... Annotations are dead, right? Yeah, there's no more annotations on YouTube. But uh, I will have a way for you to watch that so that you can make the comparisons between the two zones. Let me know which one you prefer in the comment section. Uh, in the comment section, Casino Zone, uh, Casino Night Zone, or Casino Street Zone. I can barely freaking talk. But um, <laughs> here we are. Uh, a lot of si uh, similarities with... Um, you know, just the level assets, like everything just looks familiar. And I, I really think that that's what they were going for with Sonic 4, but I, I feel like they may have been a little misguided in their approach for this game. I mean, it's called Sonic the Hedgehog 4, so why would you bring back, you know, things that remind me of Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2 or, or 3 or whatever? Like, if it was, you know, called something else, like, I wouldn't mind as much. Like, Sonic Generations, like, the title in itself, you know, lets you know that, okay, this is going to be, like, something, you know, something fresh and new, but also familiar. Sonic 4 implies that you're trying to do something new. This is the fourth game. So, I really feel like, you know, bringing back super familiar assets and level concepts was was a, was a, a bad choice in, uh, uh... A bad choice. I just, I just don't think it was a good choice. I really wish they would have gone with more unique level designs and, you know, done something fresh instead of bringing back elements from Sonic 1 and 2. But that's just my opinion. I love this loading screen. Okay, here we go. Second bonus stage, or special stage. That's one thing that I have been messing up this entire series. I've been misnaming the uh, special and bonus stages. The uh, bonus stages, um, an example of that would be like the, the ones from Sonic 3 where you can get the shields and whatnot. That is a bonus stage. These are special stages. And uh, anybody who has caught that, I believe somebody called me out in the comments on it. Um, I appreciate you. Thank you for, for <laughs> uh, correcting me out there. But yeah, not my favorite special stage. I mean, I, I, I believe a little later on the, in the game, it gets a, a lot more annoying than, than this. I need a few more rings to open up this gate. Looks like we have plenty of time, so we can just take our time, try to collect as many rings as possible, so you don't have to go through the, uh, the rigmarole of looking for rings. We're gonna get that extra time there. Oh God, stop with the bumpers. The bumpers? will get you killed. Okay, so we want to be careful here. These little things are protecting us. Oh, God. Oh, all right, there's the emerald. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, let's just, just straighten it out. Okay, fall straight down. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gracious. Oh, we got it. Woo! That was close. Woo, that was very close. All right, we got our second emerald. Let's freaking go. Oh, and those aren't continues. I, I misspoke. Those are actually uh, extra lives. I don't believe that there's any continues in this game. But you get a ton of extra lives here on Casino Street Zone Act 2. 
um, because of the gimmick that we're gonna see here in a second these little card things so basically when you flip them pictures show up and when you get like sonic faces or rings or whatever they add up so that you can get extra lives so we're gonna get a lot of extra lives in, in this episode or just on this zone alone we might come out with over 30 lives I'm just I'm just guessing there oh, the platforming in this game does not feel good at all well, the reason for that is because like if you if you are um, running with Sonic and then you jump and then you let go of the oh, see look look at all the lives over 20 lives just 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 now but yeah, um, letting go of the uh, thumbstick just stops Sonic in his tracks. It's something that I really don't like about um, how he controls in this game. Whoa, we're going, we're going the upper route. Make sure we get all the cards. I want all the cards. Uh, we need a little bit of speed so we can get up there. Why didn't I get any extra lives there? It's all good. Actually, remember there was a there was a trailer for Sonic Four where they showcased um, this act and like the card gimmick. I remember that specifically. All right, let's see if we can get a few more cards. There we go. Ah, no matches. It's all good. Whoa, 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 whoa! Take it easy. I'm not even exactly sure how that uh, card gimmick works. Uh, wow, did we just die? Wow. Okay, we've been dying a lot. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and admit that now. We've been dying quite a lot, but it almost doesn't matter because we get so many freaking lives. None there. I think you have to get like three or four Sonic heads in order to get an extra life. I'm not exactly 100% on how it works. Whoa, don't want to get smashed. All right, we're going to take this upper route here. A little secret card transition route. Don't even ask me how that works. Like, how is Sonic just allowed? Oh, see, yeah, it makes sections like this really hard because I can't really keep my forward momentum when I need to slow down. Alright, we want to go up. And see, that's a bad nick from Sonic 2 right there. Making its return after being absent for so many years. And uh, uh, I don't know if I mentioned in the in the last episode, but the bad nicks, uh, their um, appearance in this game actually coincides with the story. Because Dr. Eggman, like after his defeat, in uh, Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles, um, he went back to his, all of his old inventions from Sonic 1 and 2 and uh, kind of like supercharged them. They, they're supposed to be more powerful, but they're kind of just like the same. <laughs> Alright, we have another special stage here. And, oh, we do not have a lot of time. I'm looking at the timer and we only have about 20, or, 20 seconds or so. Okay, so we're going to have to make haste here. Can't spend too much time lollygagging. Although it is giving us a lot of time, so that's good. Oh, man, where are we going? Okay, we need... Oh, man, we need like 30 rings. Damn. All right, as long as there's no pits. Okay, we got time. Get that. Oh, man, that's really stressful because you start getting like the... You're running out of time when you still have like 20 seconds left. It really gives you that sense of urgency. Come on, two rings. There we go. All right, here, there's a five. Let's let's grab. Oh man, we are we are running out of time. We need this. No. All right. Yeah. Go back in. Go back in. Uh, oh man, I don't think we're gonna make it. We may not make it, boys. Get the five. Okay. Come on. Come on. One. Oh no, there's time over here. Ah, it's only five. I needed like a ten. There we go. Come on, come on, keep moving, keep it moving. Oh man, five, four, there's the emerald, I can see it. No, get it! Oh, we were so close, come on. Ugh. 
I could retry it, but let's just go on to the next level. It doesn't matter. We'll have plenty more chances. All right, Casino Street Zone Act 3, the Casino Climax. Whoa, what the, what's up with that name? <laughs> what is up with that name? And see, this is one that's taking elements from Sonic 3 with the little, like, cannon from, um... Oh, man, what the hell was the name of that level? Um, Carnival Night Zone? Yeah, I think it's Carnival Night. Although in that game, you couldn't really control which direction it was going. It kind of just automatically like did this left and right thing. But in this game, you can actually aim it, which is pretty cool. It kind of sucks that uh, the Batnik from, uh, what's that, from Sonic 3 uh, has, has just been reduced to like the homing attack. <laughs> the guy that you homing attack in this game, that's all that he's good for getting homing attacked on. We're gonna try and get some height here. There we go. Yeah, see this guy? He's just he's just here for the homing attacks. That's all he's here for. Alright. Oh, we don't want to get squished. See, this little, like, platform section reminds me of uh, Spring Yard Zone. Oh, we're going up. Yeah, see, how will we get over here without the homing attack? It's freaking impossible. Alright, we're going this way. I love that animation right there. It sounded so cute when he does that. Let's go straight up. Ah ha ha! Secret rings. Secret ring boxes. There's something here. Oh, another one up. What's down here? Okay, so we have two directions we can go in. Let's go this way first. Ooh, shield. That'll help us from uh, losing our rings. Okay. And what's this way? Oh, no, we're dead. No, we're not dead. But there is something over there that I want. So let's uh, let's aim a little further to the right. Up. Oh. Ah, nice homing attack for the wing. Whoa, alright, knock this out. Get in there, there you go. Oh, it's just rings, okay, so... I think we're supposed to go straight up. There we go. Whoa, don't wanna fall. And we're going out. Yeah, look, and look, listen, like the music, not very, not very upbeat, not very like cheery or anything. It's kind of just like, meh. Like most of the songs on this, on this game are, are very meh. Well, a lot of people don't like the soundtrack. Ugh. All right. I just want to be out of this section now. I believe there's a faster way to do it, but you have to be like good at the game. All right, finally. Nope, we got more, more cannons. All right, what's over here? Just some rings. Uh, looks like we're going over. Whoa! That was that was almost death. Ugh, all right, we made it through. Okay, that went pretty smoothly. Now look, we twenty nine lights. See, if I hadn't died, we would have had thirty, which was my uh, prediction that we would have thirty lives by the end of a uh, casino street. Oh nope, and we just got one thirty. Ha <laughs> ha, told you. Okay, so unlike previous games in the series, when you lose a bonus stage, you don't go directly to the next one. You retry the same bonus stage over and over until you uh, until you beat it. So if we don't beat this one this time, we're gonna be you're gonna be seeing it a lot more. 
Let's get the... No, oh god, I thought that was time over here. Get a little bit twi twisted around a little bit. We're trying to open up this door later. Let's get that while we're over here. 18 more rings? Damn, we were missing a whole lot of rings, guys. Now, you can press uh, the A button in order to shake the level. Oh, man, we are... Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, gotta get down. I wish there was a way to, like, quick turn the stage, but there isn't. Oh, yeah, get that time. Get it, get it, get it, get it. It's like bouncing around. Alright, this way. Alright, 16 seconds. That's plenty of time to get through this. This isn't a very hard section. It's just uh, it's like so fucking bouncy. Oh, come on. We're gonna, we might run out of time. There it is. There it is. We got it. We got it. Get it. Awesome. Three emeralds. Okay. Three down, four to go. We can do this. We can do this. I believe. All right. Dr. Eggman's party. We having a party? Now, this one might look familiar as well. It's the same, the same style of boss from uh, Casino Night Zone. Not difficult in any way, shape, or form. He makes it so you can, like, bounce off of his head. You know, while he's in his, uh, his invincible frames. But it just makes this boss, like, hella easy. Like, he's kind of just, like, trapped. He can't even move. Like, honestly, this was just, like, a lazy version of the Casino Night Zone boss. Just, just so lazy, in my opinion. But that is Casino Street Zone. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Trunell, and this is the Countdown to Sonic Mania. And I will see you in the next episode. I'm out of here. Peace. 32 lives. Haha. <laughs>